This is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Welcome to Bengal Whisper. I am so glad. Hi, this is Mel from Bengal Whisper. Today we are going to make two different kinds of chickpea curry slash chana masala. So this first one we are to make chickpea curry. So I have one onion, four cloves of garlic, and one inch thick ginger, all chopped and grated. And I'm going to blend all this. And I have one tomato as well, and one green chili pepper seeded and chopped. So first, you need to blend all this and create a mixture sort of like paste and, and then we're going to saute this one so i have i put everything in my blender and getting ready to blend it and i have in the pan one teaspoon of olive oil and two bay leaves little bit of cumin seed about half a teaspoon of cumin seed and a pinch of asafoetida and I'm going to let it cook for a few seconds until it gives a nice aroma be sure not to burn it because if you burn it it's going to taste bitter so I'm going to mix my paste for ginger, garlic, onion, tomato and chili pepper then I'm going to cook it for about 5 minutes or until it is done and you know when it's done when it will start releasing the oil so this step is very important make sure you fry the onion, ginger, garlic and the tomato because if it does not get fried then it will leave a smell like the and smell so you keep the heat and medium and keep working on this and you have to keep stirring it once in a while or it's going to get stuck at the bottom of the pan and that will also give it a bitter taste so keep checking on it and we're going to cook this one. You can cover it so that it doesn't splatter all over the place because it's going to do that while reducing the water. So try to add as little of water as possible when blending this so it becomes a thick paste and it's easy to work with the thick paste. So I'm going to just give it some time, about five minutes or so so until it becomes slightly brown, golden brown, but be sure not to burn it because if you burn it, then the heat of your chana masala is going to be bitter. So we're just going to cook this one for three more seconds and then while this is cooking, you can clean a potato and then cut it into small pieces. pieces. You can put two potatoes too, but since I have only one can of chickpeas, I'm going to do only one potato. Now you can add canned chickpeas or you can add fresh chickpeas. So if you add the fresh chickpeas, then you have to boil. So we're going to add some spices to this, salt, garam masala, turmeric powder, vegetable masala, and get some cumin and coriander seed grounded, and chana masala. So in this one specific masala, whatever blend you can find, you can use it. And be sure to use some white chili pepper if you like it hot and salt and chili. So I try to make it simple so it's easy for you to learn and cook and it's easy on your pocket too. So 
So don't worry about adding too many masalas as long as you have salt, turmeric, and a masala blend. It's better to go for a masala blend that way you don't have to buy too many masalas. Now I'm going to let it cook a little bit more, like five more minutes, so it will cook a little bit more and the masala will start giving a nice aroma. You can cover this one or cook on covers up to you, but I'm going to cover it so it does not splatter all over the place. Now it seems like it's done, so when it's done it will start releasing the oil. Even though I added very little oil, about like one teaspoon. So now it seems like it's done. I'm going to add the cut potatoes and then cook it a little bit more. In about two to three minutes, saute. And then I'm going to add the chickpeas and I'll be sure your chickpeas are either the canned chickpeas or boiled because if it's not then it's going to take a really long time to cook it. So free boil them or get the canned ones and I usually drain the canned ones so do not use the water from the can. So just drain it and then add the potatoes and chickpea and then um, saute it with the spices and onion, ginger, garlic paste for 5 minutes or so. And then I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of cilantro, chopped cilantro leaves. You can add a little bit more if you wish and at this point you can check for the spices to see if you have enough salt and pepper and once I saute this little bit I'm going to add two cups of water so just wait until it gives a nice smell and then add the water and if you are not to burn it because it can burn then everything will start to be better. So I'm just going to add the water and then put a cover and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes and check to make sure the potatoes are cooked and the chickpeas are also feeling soft and cooked for so about 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm going to look for it to add 2 cups of water to it. And then let it cook in the same amount for 10 to 15 minutes until all the chickpea and the potatoes are thoroughly cooked. Oh, and you can add one chopped tomato to when you saute the onions and you find the onions in your garlic. This time you can add one chopped tomato and that will bring you a nice color. Or you can add one tablespoon of tomato paste that will be the red color. So I'm not adding the tomato, but you could add it. And now this looks almost done. This is slowly done, and I'm going to serve it in a bowl and give you a picture. And this is very yummy, tasty, and thick, creamy gravy. And you can eat this one with your rice or bread. So let me give you a picture of the crunchy salad in a bowl. So you have to come out. And make sure your gravy is thick. So here is the picture. You can add some little bit more cilantro and chopped chili pepper if you like it hot. So just garnish with two tablespoons of chopped cilantro leaves. And so if you like it hot, you can put some red chili pepper or black pepper or just green chili pepper. 
So here we started the basmati rice. I hope you like it. Hi, so I'm going to show you my another one of the red chickpea which is called Kala Chana. So it's a red chickpea curry. I added one teaspoon of olive oil and to that I'm going to add some pinch of asafoetida and then I'm going to add one fourth teaspoon of cumin seed. You can add some bay leaves too, it's going to give you a beautiful aroma, beautiful smell and just wait for all this to cook a little bit, about to see a couple of minutes. I would wait for about a minute and keep the heat in medium and then just let it do its work and while it's getting fried you can see it's turning brown and it give a good smell but be quick and add uh, your other things too before it starts burning so don't let it burn and when this one is a little bit fried to that, I'm going to add one large onion chopped and four cloves of garlic grated and one inch thick ginger grated. And then you can blend it to make it a paste or you can just add like that and saute it. It's up to you, but if you make it a paste, it's going to be like a thick gravy. Okay. You can make it a paste, or you can saute everything and brown it, and then make it a paste in a blender. So whatever is easy for you. Now, after I add the onion, ginger, garlic, I have to fry them into a golden brown. And then you can cover the fried onion so and put it dry out in the But you have to keep it cooking around so that I can put it in my hand. But I usually tend to do that. But in the ginger garlic, you cut it and it gets stuck at the bottom of the pan and turns black. So when this place is turning black, it will going to give a bitter taste. So I'm going to add about two potatoes peeled and cut in small cubes and I'm going to do two cups of boiled red peas or kind of nuts and then add the potatoes to the fry on the ginger garlic and 
saute it for like five minutes, cook it for like five minutes, and then I will add the kamechana. It's pretty boiled, so make sure you soak it overnight and then boil it. I will be ready to cook. And I'm just gonna have to saute my potato until it gets nicely mixed with the onion, ginger, garlic paste and just a little bit cook before I add the red cooking soup called paracena and you can find me with my onion toaster and the garlic paste so I'm just going to go ahead and saute the potatoes with the onion, ginger, garlic for 5 minutes or so and then I will add the chickpeas which is soaked and boiled. So you can soak the chickpeas overnight and in the morning drain out the water and just boil it. And then I will be ready to cook. So I'm going to add my chickpeas now and then add all the masala. And masala is going to add in this about two tablespoons of cilantro leaves. So I have four tablespoons of cilantro leaves, two tablespoons with the chickpea and potatoes, and two tablespoons of garnishing. So I mixed all my spices together. Spices I have one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of red chili pepper. Red chili pepper is optional if you don't like it hot, you don't have to add it. And then one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of vegetable masala, one teaspoon of chana masala, and one teaspoon of cumin and coriander powder. So these are all freshly ground and then cook it for covered and put in a little bit of water as needed about a one or two cups so that all the potatoes get cooked and boiled. So just toss it on everything for five minutes in the five minutes so it's going to go. Uh, spices is going to get soaked into the potatoes and the chickpeas and add uh, two cups of water. You can add a little bit more too if you need to cook it longer because collagen takes a long time to cook. But it's boil and we just want to make sure that the potatoes are soft enough. So we're going to cook it covered for 20 minutes and very low heat. Then if you increase the heat, then you have to check frequently or it's going to get stuck at the bottom of the pan and then it will become bitter. So keep checking it frequently after adding two cups of water and just cook it till it's done about 20 minutes. And you can add a uh, chopped tomato or tomato paste to it. If you're going to add the uh, pressed tomatoes, then add it while cooking the ginger, garlic, onion. If you're going to add the tomato paste, you can add it now. And you can boil and cook thorny. Hi, thank you so, so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe.